We don't yet know the full details of this modest house, nor of the life of its eventual owner, Cynthia Dorsey, Basil Dorsey's second wife. We've been inside to inspect the timber frame structure, which appears to have been built in the 1840s or 50s. It was likely part of the Dorsey homestead early on, and Basil's son, Charles Robert, and his wife, Emma, appear to have been living here in 1870. Remarkably, Henry Anthony, Florence's most tenured black resident, who had apparently moved out of his house at 40 Spring Street, was also living in this household. Cynthia was 21 years younger than her husband, and only five years older than Dorsey's son, John, by his first wife, and six years older than Charles Robert. Around 1880, Cynthia moved to New Haven with several of the children who had elected to stay with her and died there in 1902. Cynthia was the daughter of Almond and Nancy Jones of Pittsfield who are buried in the Park Street Cemetery. Her body was brought back to Florence for burial nearby their graves.